the car market is eating. Hey, good morning. It's me again. Um, so, last time that I talked to you, um, oh, what am I talking about? Anyways, what was this topic? Oh, yeah. Um, I haven't been really myself lately. A lot of the times, like, I've realized that, um, it's been difficult for me to talk about the past because I kind of don't want to think about it anymore. Um, but hey, so I have like a few things that I want to talk about. I got, I do my taxes tomorrow, which is good because I really need that stimulus check. It's been like three years and I've been like out of it, living on the streets and stuff like that. Um, Anyway, so what was I talking about? Oh, let me turn this down. Okay, uh. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. My back. So it's been six months since my back brace has been taken off. And, um. I shattered my spine in three places. And, um. I thought about the x rays the other day. Um. And I thought about the machines that they use the x-rays for. And um, they really have some high-tech te technology nowadays, you know, the things that they can do with x-rays and all that. But um, I had to wear a back brace. I thought I had to wear it for my whole life, but I took it off. And my back has grown back stronger than it has in the bones actually healed stronger than they originally were. So the break was bad, right? But the bone actually healed like 10 times stronger. So it's just really screwed up. It's just crooked and kind of deformed a little bit. Um, I have like a slash in my side that um, they had to see if I had internal bleeding and stuff like that. Um, so there's like a giant cut where they cut me open and where they like shocked me with shock therapy and whatnot. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So the back is straight, right? So the back is straight. It just has cramps where the muscle works too hard sometimes. Like, you know, where you have, like, certain, like, um, like nerves and stuff like that. Like the nerves. Like the nerves. I'm so glad. I had back surgery, so they had to take out a bone in my back. Um... And, um, oh, yeah, so my leg, da, 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 da. I get my leg next week. I'm excited about it. Um, I go to the doctors. I'm going to go see my doctor, Dr. Ian. He's really good. He's a certified specialist in prosthetic legs, and um, he's going to help me walk again. I want to show you the swelling on my leg. It was so bad today. It was like right here, like right here on the bone. You know where the bone is? Anyways, um, the bone is like, I want to protect it, you know, but it's getting stronger. Like at first I was like, oh, this isn't going to work. But now it's like moving and stuff. Like I, I can like move it around and like the, the, the leg is still strong. It's just the foot is gone. So I'm hoping that I'm hoping that things go good with Dr. Ann on um, Thursday when I, I missed my last doctor's appointment because uh, I went to the wrong location. Anyways, so uh, yeah, don't give up on yourself. I mean, times get hard. Don't feel like you're going to get left out or you can't take care of yourself. Just Look for those people who can take care of you until you get your mind right. And, um, get that disability check, you know? I'm actually considered to be a crippled now. Um, I'll show you my other foot, too. This foot has two scars on it. 
have a scar right here and a scar right here. I have like 13, 13 um, screws and uh, this archway is kind of deformed, but whatever. It still walks, so I'm hoping that this leg stays strong because I need this leg to stay strong, you know? If this leg can stay strong enough to where I can use this leg, then we'll be in business. So, I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten the leg yet, but I did get it cut, and it's been about 25 days. No, it's been longer than that. It's been... So let me see the stitch. The stitch, it's been like... Uh, I would say, what are we in? March, April. I would say it's been like two months now. Two months. So, what's that, 60 days? So, 60 days. It used to be really red, but now it's all white. The, he the wounds healed really good. Um... And I thank God I have big bones, you know, so it'll get there. And I have good knees too. Anyways, I just wanted to keep you guys posted. Those of you who lose hope or who have been wounded, just know that, you know, we're in it together. Okay. All right. Peace out.